Shalom, good evening, and welcome to Seven CPS Certified Peer Specialist YouTube channel, where we promote mental health maintenance and addiction recovery in the ADOS, Americans, descendants of Aboriginal and African slaves community. And so today we're going to discuss the five stage recovery process. And we're going to go over this quickly. And then I'm going to follow up with videos further explaining and going through these stages bit by bit. And so the five stages are impact of illness, life is limited, change is possible, commitment to change, and action to change. Recovery defined per SAMHSA.gov, Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. Recovery is a process of change through which individuals improve their health and wellness, live a self-directed life, and strive to reach their full potential. Hope is the belief that one has both the ability and the opportunity to engage in the recovery process. The disabling power of behavioral health disorders or the triggers, the self-image side effects, and the stigma and symptoms of your health disorder. And you experience these daily. In the first stage of the recovery process, impact of illness, the person is aware. The symptoms and the resulting behavior are the controlling experiences in a person's life, and the person is often not able to function. The danger, the person will redefine themselves in a mental illness terminology that will automatically limit their future. In the impact of illness stage of the recovery process, the person is asking a question of identity. How will I define myself on the other side of being diagnosed? Internally, the person experiences loss, sense of failure, etc., causing them to question their ability and see themselves as their diagnosis. Externally, others see the person as once broken, always broken, will not be able to function again. The question of identity. When I have experienced the symptoms of behavioral health disorder and have been diagnosed, how am I going to relate to this in terms of defining who I am and what I am able to do? In the impact of illness stage is the time from the initial onset of symptoms through the time of diagnosis. When a person is experiencing intense emotional distress due to the symptoms of illness or is experiencing being diagnosed with a behavioral health disorder, they're oftentimes overwhelmed by this and it changes the way they see themselves. The danger is that they will take on a new identity and begin to redefine themselves in the behavioral health terminology reducing their possibility. This redefining of their identity automatically limits their belief as to what they can do and will be able to do. They begin to see themselves as the illness and therefore sees themselves as unable to do most of the things they would like to do. They give up their hopes, dreams, and expectations. The five stages in the recovery process all have dangers. At each stage of the recovery process, there are dangers. At each stage, there is a major question that a person must answer or a major decision that a person must make. We always have things influencing our decisions. Internally, there are pressures on the individual to answer this question negatively. Externally, 
there are pressures on the individual to answer this question negatively. When the internal and external pressures become overwhelming, it often causes a person to be stuck or sidetracked on the journey. So it often causes them to basically freeze, fire flight. The role of certified peer specialist services is to decrease the emotional distress by reducing the symptoms and communicating that there is a light before and after diagnosis. So in other words, the role of services are presented to you. Remember, this is a self-directed journey. I thank you for uh, visiting this presentation. This is just the first to come. However, we're going to take this thing slowly. And thank you.